Hello and welcome back. In this section, we're going to learn more about the projection methods and types. Finally, we get to the exciting part. Projection is the process of representing the 3D object on the drawing sheet. There are different types of projection. Mainly two projection methods are used in modern technical drawings. Isometric projection and orthographic projection. Let's study those in more detail. Let's start with the isometric projection. Don't get scared by the word isometric. Isometric projection is just a fancy word for a 3D representation of the object on a drawing. But let me correct myself. It's not actually 3D because it doesn't pop out of the drawing. It's still a 2D representation of the object, but it gives you the visualization of the object as if you were viewing it in a 3D model. Isometric projection was first introduced in the early 20th century and quickly gained popularity due to its simplicity and ease of use. It became standard practice in technical drawing and is still widely used today. Although it's not a must to have an isometric view on the drawing, almost all drawings contain an isometric view. And this is because it helps to visualize the part without having to do a lot of mental work by looking at the orthographic projection views. Even experienced engineers and people who work with technical drawings daily still grasp the first idea of the part by having a quick look at the isometric view. Now let's see how to create an isometric view. To create an isometric projection, a drafter starts by drawing a horizontal line and then drawing two lines at a 30 degree angle to the left and right of the horizontal line. These lines represent the X and Y axis of the object's three-dimensional space. The drafter then draws a vertical line at a 90 degree angle from the horizontal line representing the z-axis. The intersection of the three lines forms the isometric axis, which the drafter uses to draw the object. The object is drawn using a series of parallel lines that follow the isometric axis. These lines are spaced at equal distances to accurately represent the object's dimensions. The resulting drawing is a three-dimensional object represented in two dimensions. Although the isometric view is best for giving a quick visualization of the part, it lacks the ability to show important details. If you try to add dimensions to the ISO view, it quickly becomes crowded with information. Also, the angles and circular elements are distorted. So, although it is helpful and recommended for every drawing to have an isometric view, it is generally only used for visualization and is not sufficient to fully describe the part and needs to be complemented with orthographic views. That's it for this lecture. In the next lecture, we are going to learn more about the orthographic projection.